My name is Vern Zentz, and today I'm going to be speaking on the process of getting milk from the farm to the retail stores and into your refrigerator. As you know, we use milk every day in our lives in some form or another, and uh, so it's a pretty essential thing that we have to have. It starts out at the dairy farms, and uh, dairy farms have come a long way from what they were back in the old days. Uh, they used to milk the cows by hand, and uh, they would take and put them in buckets, and then they would just sell them to the local stores and do it that way. Then as progress came along, they come out with what they call the milking machine, which they put a machine on the cows and they would milk them, and, and they would take and pour them into buckets, take the buckets and put them into bulk tanks, uh, which at that time would cool down the milk and stir the milk to keep the milk uh, cool until it could get to the processing plants. Um, nowadays, in the, in the dairy farms are very large, and they milk up to 100 to 200 head of cattle a day, and they have to milk them twice a day, every morning at 5 a.m. and every evening at 5 a.m. But they use pipelines now, where they put the milkers on the cows, and the milk goes directly into the pipeline, which goes into the uh, bulk house and directly into the bulk tank. So they don't even carry the milk anymore today. It's just done all by pipeline. Then, after the milk is cooled down and stirred, and the truck will come from the processing plants every day and pick up the milk. It will take the milk to the uh, processing plants and, and put it in big vats. In those vats, they uh, pasteurize the milk. <coughs> and the way they do that is to heat the milk up, and then they take and do it for a short period of time. This kills all the bacteria, and it also gets all the germs and everything out of the milk. Then they cool the milk back down as quickly as possible, and then they let it set and keep it stirred at a cool temperature for 24 hours. At the end of the 24 hours, there will be a lot of cream at the top. At that point, the processing plants will take the cream and they will do several things with it. Uh, one of the things is, is they'll take the cream, they'll make butter, uh, they'll make cheese, uh, different cream products as far as sour cream, stuff like that. And then they will take, when it comes to making the milk, if it's vitamin D milk, it, they will just leave the cream in it and, and process it with the cream. If it's 2% milk, then they, they take the cream off, except for 2% of it, and then leave that in there. <clears throat> they also uh, will make buttermilk from the milk and the cream, and so we have many different products that come from milk, uh, and there's you know just numerous products that are made from milk that we consume every day. At that point, the uh, Processing plants will also uh, take and bottle the milk into plastic bottles or they will put them into cartons um, and then they will also put an expiration date on the milk because the expiration because the milk will sour if you know after a period of time. So they have to put the expiration date on there as to how long the milk will still be good as long as you keep it cool. Then, at that point, the uh, bottles uh, and the butter and whatever are packaged into different packages and they are loaded on the trucks and then they are taken to retail stores where the retail stores immediately uh, take the milk and put it into coolers and, and then that's where we go in and buy the milk and cheese, butter, whatever it is that we use from milk products. I know uh, the process of doing this because when I was uh, younger and on the farm, I was raised on a dairy farm. So I was involved with the process as far as it was my job to milk the cows every day, uh, twice a day at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. And it was, you know, 365 days a year. And no matter whether you were sick, or not, you still had to go out and you had to milk the cows. However, back when I was on the farm, we only milked about 35 to 40 head of cattle, and we were using the milking machines, and we would pour them in the buckets and take them in there. 
so in conclusion, we uh, know now how the milk gets from the dairy farm to the stores, and I'm glad to be a part of that process.